Hi everyone, it's Ella Rose here. Uh, I just want to thank everyone for keeping me in their prayers when I was uh, bitten by the cat. My hand was, so I've got a lot of nerve damage with the um, tendons. When he bit uh, the knuckle, he latched down and um, dragged the tendon with it. So my right index finger has uh, pins and needles in it. So hopefully I'll get it fixed and it'll heal. But I just want to share some information. I have been watching a few of Mr. Hallett's uh, videos and he's going on about times and dates again. Um, 1600 saying different things. But what I want to share is these... The, you know, the Acropolis and the third horseman of the Acropolis that shuts heaven's door. The mark of the beast on the forehead is the Masonic baptism rite that uses the name of the Holy Spirit, the devil, and a punishment for mankind for forgetting God the Father, the Holy Ghost. And he shall make all little and great and rich and free men and bondmen character in their right hand and in their foreheads, and that no man may be buy or sell that he hath the character or the name of the beast or the number of his names Acropolis 13, 16, 17 of the 15, 80 dreams and this is the Bible that King James made his Bible out of pretty much he copied off this Bible in 1940 the Vatican then secretly controlled by Freemasonry, deleted the last name of the Holy Trinity, that of God the Father, the Holy This occurred around 1944 in the midst of the chaos during World War II. The same year ordered St. Lucia to write down the contents of the third secret of Fatima, which was designed to give a chance to correct this major error. This critical chapter, which decodes them on the forehead, has been organized into the eight following eight sub-chapters. If you are a Vatican II priest, it is required that you read and understand this nation. One introduction and the curse of right anyone can perform without a priest, can perform without a priest, below on this page. Two, the information on the sacramental requirement of proper form. Three, information on the sacramental requirement of proper matter. Four, information on the sacramental requirement of proper intention. Five, the supernatural effect of the valid Catholic rite. Six, John is a patron saint of Freemasonry. This Vatican II rite is a curse and must be corrected. Now, what brings me to this is Mr. Hallett, Greg Hallett, the King of England, the water deposer, new King of England, his idol is John, you know, he went to the cave of Patmos and wrote the book of Revelations and Sir Walter Raleigh, whatever. Well, Sir Walter Raleigh was a Freemason as well. So, biblical evidence destroyed by the Masonic publishers and the new translations. Long lost Catholic encyclopedia and dogma sources proving this duality. It is with certain trepidation because if you despise and reject this ultimate means, we will not have any more forgiveness from heaven because we will have committed a sin which the gospel causes sin against the Holy Ghost. This sin consistent, consists of openly rejecting with full knowledge and consent the salvation which he offers. Sister Lucia Santos, 1957. The Holy Ghost was replaced in the sacramental rites with the name of the Holy Spirit, which is the devil. Since this heresy was implemented across the globe, the world has seen the number of Catholic, seen the Catholic Church turn its back on God in the Novus Ordo Mass. The monasteries have closed at unprecedented levels. The number of nuns has diminished to that of the afterthought, and the world has gone mad under the control of baby boomers. Born 1946-64, who were marked on the forehead with the name of the devil, a mysterious phenomenon the Bible only calls the mark of the beast on the forehead. This section 
is the most comprehensive on the internet regarding the deletion of God, the Holy Ghost, Deum Patrium Spiritum Sanctum in Latin. From the Catholic rites, the source shown below was not easy to find. As of September 4, 2014, we have located 18 bulletproof sources that prove why St. Lucia was given this anonymous warning from Our Lady to the end effect of changing the Catholic baptism rite into the Masonic baptism rite can easily be seen today. It has resulted in a world of willing slaves who defend a Masonic system of government as opposed to the Catholic Church's authority and has made 200 million horsemen out of the world's Catholic population who worship, promote and enforce Satan's dominion. And it's just as predicted in the Acropolis. They march under the keys of Freemasonry, willingly, re willingly realizing only their errors when they are shut out of heaven upon their death. Acropolis 916. And the number of the army of horsemen was 12,000 times 10,000. And I heard the number of them. Above left, 5 million gather in Beirut, Lebanon in May 1997 for an outdoor mass held by Jewish Freemason, anti-Pope John Paul II. Above right, a large number of Catholics gather in Portland, in Poland, to pay their respects to the Jewish Masonic leader after he passed into hell. See, Beirut, Lebanon is the old Phoenician trading port, one of the biggest trading ports that Phoenicia had. It was Phoenicia. 17 pieces of evidence regarding the deletion of the name of God, the Father, the Holy Ghost, Deuterum, Patron, Spiritum, Sanctum in Latin, which turned the Catholic rite into a Masonic baptism rite and stole millions of souls away from the church. So it's a bit hard to read. Hang on. Naturally, it's been removed. I've just checked through on the Wayback Machine and deleted. So, in here, it's got the Baptizi in scriptures, according to Experimento Verbum Illuminati Hebrew 6. So, It's really hard to read, sorry. Directed against Holy Spirit, see Holy Ghost. The sighs arose from sorrow with torments out of the crowds. Many multitudes of infant women and men, the kindly master said, Do you not ask who these spirits whom you see before you? I have, have, I'd have you know before you go ahead they did not sin, and yet though they have merits, that's not enough because they lacked baptism. The portal of faith that you embrace and if they lived before Christianity, they did not worship God in fitting ways, and of such spirits I myself am one. For these defects, and for no other evil, we are now lost and punished, just like with, just with this. We have no hope, yet we live in long, longing. Dante's Inferno, Canto. I can't remember my numeral, sorry, 28. 42, covering Dante's awakening from the first circle, or Limbo, inhabited by those who were worthy but lived before Christianity and or without baptism. By about the 5th century we, we began to see more clearly, we noticed these important changes that have already been made. Right Shell, I can't say that name, sorry, this guy here thinks that the incubation of the Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, Spirit Sanctum, has already disappeared from the Mass, Catholic Encyclopedia, Mass Volume 10, page 9, 794. The 
The great intercession follows the consecration, which comes at once after the saintess and in the Alexandrine class. The intercession is said that we should call the preference before the saintess. We might add to this the other difficulty, the omission at Rome of any kind of clear inv invocation of the Holy Ghost, Ecclesis. Paul draws and tried to say, tried to solve this question. His theory is that the Roman Mass, starting from primitive vulgar rite, at first followed the development of Jerusalem Antioch and was for a time very similar to the liturgy of St. James Catholic Encyclopedia Mass 10, Mass Volume 10, 795. So Angie Pope Pyrus, 1939-58, deleted the name of God, the Holy Ghost, from the Catholic Church's baptism rite in 1944 because of the Illuminati takeover of the Vatican hierarchy. All were caused to receive the mark on the beast on the forehead after 1944. So we've got the signs there. Adolf Hitler's Nazi party also experimented with their own variation on Masonic baptism rite, just as the Vatican Masonic baptism rite caused the offspring of Catholics to look to Jewish Freemasonry priests as their gods. The Nazi rite caused those who received its mark to look into Jewish Freemason, Adolf Hitler, as their god. Simply put, a human being becomes what he or she is baptized as. Related Babylonian Tumblr. Warning, 119, your God is a priest. Behold, the Lord will come in fire. And Hitler was a Rothschild. They were all related. You know, they're probably all ringing each other up saying, yeah, I'm going to go this way. Don't go that way until I come this way. And it was all planned, you know. <clears throat> This breaking of the seal of the Catholic baptism rite was so serious that Acropolis 8 1 reveals. And when he opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven, as it were, for a half an hour. Acropolis 8 1. And that the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet who wrought signs before him, wherewith he seduced him who received the mark, character of the beast and who adored his image. These two were cast alive into the pool of fire, burning with brimstone. Acropolis 19.20 of the Doi's Dreams. And it, the beast, will cause all, the small and the great, the rich and the poor, the free and the bond, to have a mark on their right hand or in their foreheads, and it will bring it about that no one may be able to buy or sell except him who has the mark, either the name of the beast or the number of its name. 1950 Doi's Reams, Acropolis 13, 16, 17. The mark of the beast on the forehead is Illuminati baptism using the heretical name, the spirit of the one who is coming on Judgment Day when the New World Order begins. Spiritus Sanctus, the unholy spirit. Source the Catholic 1685 Latin Vulgate Bible Sacria. Baptimus in Spiriti. Sancto and Igne Matthew 311 Mark 1 Lux 316 Lun. So baptize, baptize in scripture, El Quino, Ex Primia, Verbum, Illuminati. Baptizes Christus. Sorry for saying this wrong. Baptism of fire ignite using the meaningless heretical name. Spirit Sancto. The Illuminati, Illuminati, baptism using the heretical name Spirit Sanctus, the Holy Spirit, which is connected to Freemasonry, coming Jewish Messiah, or the Christus. The correction, the correct form for baptism using the required name Spirit Sanctum, the Holy Ghost, which is connected to God, Duum Jesus Christum. The required Catholic intention is not mentioned in the Jewish Bible, rendering the rite invalid. Above from scan, 
977-1022 of the 1685 Canonical Canal Dual Catholic Latin Vulgate, showing the Illuminati names using, used in their baptism. The Illuminati baptism uses the name Spiritus Sanctus, which translate into English as the Holy Spirit. As a result of the Masonic takeover of the Vatican, Pyrrhus changed the name for English language Catholic baptism in 1944, causing all to receive the mark of the beast except for the traditional holdout priest, exorcists who had the understanding of the duality. 1944 was also the same year that Our Lady ordered St. Ordered Saint Lucia to write down the contents of the third secret of Fatna, Fatma to give humanity one last chance and that the rose that is the rosary a copy of the 1944 third secret of fatma is published here you can find the full page of the scan from the bible sacria index biblicus here and you may find this page as it appears in sequence leak here the main page for the fatma movement 8 1685 catholic biblicus sacra scan is here and as of 2013 ours is the only online copy with the complete catholic Latin Vulgate, which is required for arguments concerning the Catholic religion. Evidence from the 1757 pre-1777 Congregation of Rites. The 1757 Ritual Roman and explains the Catholic spirit, Spiritum Sanctum versus the Luciferian Spirit Sancto Baptism controversy. Above the 1757 Ridicule Romanum produced the 1777 Congregation of Rites explains the requirement name of the Spiritum Sanctum in the links of Spirito Sancto to the Luciferians. Below the Masonic Latin priest in the Godfather trilogy marks the called child with the Luciferian baptism causing the family to mysteriously be destroyed in a scene called the Baptism of Fire. From the first Godfather movie, Below on right, and the ignorant Catholic priest realizes the consequences of John the Baptist's right using the heretical name of the Holy Spirit. Another warning that same warning related Babylon Temple and warning 107 ignorant priests should not be supported. And Hollywood and all of this is all done by the Jewish. Above left is truly sad state affairs where the Jewish Illuminati rap stars like Rick Ross know more about the importance of the Holy Ghost than the Catholic priests do. Above right, Freemason Al Riker on NBC Today shows Fritz out when a Catholic reports that Porto mentions the Holy Ghost on live television. And it's like he just freezes. She says it. And he just freezes and starts staring and blinking and, and everything else. Look into the sins of thy youth and be covered with shame. Remember the sins of manhood and weep. Look to the present disorders of thy life. Tremble and hasten and apply a remedy. St. Bernard of Clarivax. It is easier to find men who have kept their innocence than to find any who have done any penance. St. Ambrose. Those have power to shut heaven, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, and that they have the power over the waters to turn them into blood and strike the earth with a plague as often as they will. 1582, the Doys Reams, Acropolis, 6, 11, 11, 6. The Holy Church built upon a rock, that is Christ, and upon Peter, because the gates of hell, that is, by disputations of heretics, which led to the vain destruction, it would be it would never be overcome. overcome. Pope Saint Leo, second of September, ten fifty three. The king answer shall say to them, Amen. I say to you, as long as you did it to the one of those these my least brethren, you did it to me. Depart from me, you cursed, into the everlasting fire, which was prepared for the devil and his angels. The Masonic Jesus from Matthew twenty five forty one. These Fatma movement files are the only comprehensive explanation available about the mysterious mark of the beast. It's not a microchip, as most Protestants are deceived into believing, leading to their constant state of paranoia. So feel free to carry 
all the microchips you can because these things have nothing to do with curses and the Illuminati know it. Which is why they lead you on about barcodes, RDFI, chips, etc. The mark of the beast on the forehead is actually the post-1944 Masonic Vatican Rite of Baptism that uses the name of the Holy Spirit, the spirit of the devil who is coming, commonly referred to as the baptism of fire. This is the mechanism, the curse of the beast system, and only cardinal, conditional Catholic baptism, only a conditional Catholic baptism can remove it. The Holy Ghost is the name of God the Father. The Holy Spirit is the name of the Baphomet, the goat, goat god of Freemasonry. When a Masonic priest uses his trusted position to baptize an infant, using the name of the devil, two things happen. That door in heaven is shut on the child. That child grows up to be an anathemized adult. I'm sorry, I can't say that word. Adult who will be very who will become a cursed adult going, working their entire lives for the Jewish Freemasonry and its god Lucifer. In hell, their slavery will continue forever, as above, so below is the Masonic motto. Now, also remember, um, around the, around the nineteen forties, is when um, you know they bought the the money monetary system in in, in the late eighteen hundreds, and Lincoln tried to stop it. And the monetary system is part of the beast system. You, you can't buy or sell without the money. See, people used to trade and barter. They, they didn't have the money. You know, they gave. If someone needed something, they just gave it to them. Now, no one does nothing unless they get something out of it. This tactic is specifically, specifically how Freemasonry is using the sheep's blind trust and what appears to be the Catholic Church. Most Catholics are aware of the seriousness of the Vatican too, and what appears to be the Catholic Church to them is in fact a Masonic temple. It was for this very reason Our Lady of Fatma in 1944 ordered John Paul II to transfer the authority of the Catholic Church to Portugal in the Third Secret of Fatma, something he did quietly did in 2004. Excuse me. He quietly did in 2004, 1944 was the year the Vatican deleted the Holy Ghost name out of the rite of baptism under the guise of language revision. And so under the guise of language revision and replaced it with the spirit. This is not very well known, but this is why Freemasons infiltrated the Catholic priesthood to break the part the Catholic Church from the inside. And this is specifically why Sister Lucia gave us these warnings about forgetting the Holy Ghost. Let's face it, most people automatically blindly trust their priests, never giving the initiation right a second thought. So, if you trust what comes out of the Vatican these days, good luck to you. But if you know something's wrong about the Masonic Vatican, but you can't put your finger on exactly what it is, you're in the right place. The end result for the Illuminati is a population of cursed, marked, uncatholic goyim or Gentiles who willingly submit to the Freemasons as their big brother. For them, big brother protects them as Jewish laws, empowers them with Jewish printed currency and takes them to hell when they die for making these Luciferian initiates into their gods. See, money is an idol, you know, having movie stars and and your favorite singers and and you know music like music is good yes but certain music is very bad you're cursing yourself with reverse speech saint lucia's warning about the deletion of the holy ghost it is a certain trepidation because if you despise and reject the ultimate means we will not have any more forgiveness from heaven because we will have committed a sin which the gospel calls a sin against the holy ghost this sin consists of openly rejecting with full knowledge and consent the salvation which he offers. Sister Lucia Santos, 1957 But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Ghost shall never have forgiveness, but shall be guilty of an everlasting sin. Mark 3, 29, 1899, as the doys reads. Worldwide head of the Luciferian Freemasonry, Albert Pike, 1916 this agent partially revealed by blind 
uh, guesses and the disciples of Mesmer is precisely of what the adepts of the Middle Ages called an elementary matter of great work. The Gnostics held that it complete, composed the ingenious body of the Holy Spirit and that it was adored in the secret rites of a Sabbat for the temple under the hieroglyphic figure of the Baphomet or the her hermaphroditic goat of Mendes. The Freemason Manual, Morals and Dogma, page 734. This specifically is specifically how the, Catholic, how the church is being destroyed, soul by soul, on a massive scale. This is reason why anti-Pope Paul boasted mysteriously after the Second Vatic, Vatican Masonic Council. The church finds herself in an hour of unrest of self-critic, one might even say, or even auto-destruction, anti-Pope Paul. 7th of December 1968. And that's currently the situation at the moment. You know, look at the way the world is, everything shut down and and the, the the rioting in America and how people have no self respect for themselves, let alone other people. They've just got no respect. They've got no morals. The Holy Father will have much to suffer, a lady Fatma nineteen seventeen. It's unclear whether or not Pyrrhus, 1939-58, changed the Catholic rite of baptism on purpose or he was deceived into doing so by the Jesuit operates advising him. <clears throat> What's clear is after 1944, millions of Catholics, after receiving the mark of the beast, in invalid baptism because Pyrrhus destroyed the required form, replacing the name of God with devil. Apocalypse 8.1 and when he had opened the seventh seal, sacrament, there was made silence in heaven as if it were half an hour. It should not go unnoticed that Our Lady appeared to be Sister Lucia in 1944 to urge her to write down the contents of the third secret of fact, Fatima to con counteract this. Exorcist 1. In general, anyone who exercises or professes to exercise demon acts to in particular one ordained by a bishop for the, this office ordained to which is the second of the four minor orders of the Western Church to practice. The doc doctor of the church, St. Thomas Aquinas, author of the Summer Theological, explains the mark of the beast. Today most, most non-Masonic priests are binding following the new law. Order Vatican II, right, which is passed on to them by superiors on seminary, and tragically it has become quite the monster. Parents can perform the corrective Catholic initiate right on their own instructions are below. I really don't want to read that and curse myself. Now, I'll just pause it to show you something about this. Like the Pope sits here, in the hall that he sits is a snake hall there, the windows are the eyes. The red carpet that he walks down is the tongue, and this isn't Jesus. I'll show you. Okay, so the sculpture was commissioned by Pope Paul in 1965. Um, the guy that actually made the sculpture was killed. It extends with over 20 metres and occupies the entire middle section of the bottom wall of the, the classroom. At the centre is the risen Christ who is soaring, emerging from chaos, indefinite, depicting death. He has long hair and a beard and moved by the wind blowing from left to right and his arms are open, his face excludes the end of pain. The rest of the sculpture is a collection of natural elements fused with each other and not defined as well, rocks, twigs. Okay, so this is what they say about that sculpture, that it's Christ risen, and that it's his hair blowing in the wind, and, and you know, what not. But it's, it's not. Okay, this is the hall. So you see the eye there. That's the mouth of the snake and the carpet. The main where they walk in up the main stage, and then we had red, is where the Pope um, sits. So he sits at the, at the forked tongue. So you can see down here is the teeth, 
like where the statue is. So this is the statue when it's a mirrored image. Go back so you can see a bit better. Okay. So it's, it says Cryos rises from this crater torn open by a nuclear bomb, an atrocity explosion and a vortex of violence and energy. That's what they tell the people that show oh, this. So we got the snake hole. Right, the so eyes. there's the fangs. The sculpture is here. So you can clearly see there's the eyes. So the, the eyes, the teeth, and then the tongue. Of course, the people sit on the tongue. This is what you get. See it? It's a Baphomet. If you search on YouTube, I'm not going to put it because I'm going to be distracted. That's, um, it, you, you can see here, there's this. demons. So when you the demons, the two, they got like a this is what you get. sort of flathead skull. See it? Demons and mystics. <laughs> And if you search on YouTube, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to get distracted. So this is the statue, um, what it looks like. You, you can see here, Normally, there's demons. They're all they demons. reckon it's Christ risen out of a nuclear crater, and that's all debris. But it's actually demons feasting demons, on And they're humans. feasting on the humans. You can't make it out. Um, You can't make it out in um, on its own, but yeah, yeah. You know, the video plays nothing really. It just shows you when it was in introduced and yeah. So anyway, this bloke splits it. You can do this yourself if you're good at editing. It. So he splits it and then you sculpture two together. So interview with the two mirror imaging hubs. Notice anything special? I mean, yeah, I can see it, but I don't know if you can. Yeah, it's very cool. is amongst the largest and most celebrated exponents of the international sculpture. His works are held in major private collections and major museums around the world, including the the Hakone Open Air Museum in Japan, the Tate Gallery in London, the National Gallery of Modern Art in Rome, the Art Institute in Chicago, and of Tokyo, and the Museum of Contemporary Art in Montreal. Okay, so, yeah. I mean, it's just, yeah. Here you can see the demons feeding on the humans. It's not just sticks and twigs and Jesus coming up from the nuclear hole. It's demons and that's the, the Baphomet with his heel. <coughs> See the horn? That's his head. It's another head of a demon. It's very, very You see, so I have one that's the bit I will share with you. I'm mentioning the horn. Knows of the last that's it there. The black border. Okay. You see the demon there. So I have one more I will share with you. Now, everyone knows of the Last Supper image, and you know, normally there's a, a black border that goes around the top here, a black and sort of white border that goes around the top. And, you know, a lot of people probably have them in their homes, and once I found this out about probably, probably 10, 12 years ago, I got rid of anything to do with this, any idols, like that. I hardly ever wear jewellery. Okay, um, I wore jewellery the other night when I did a video. But I hardly ever wear jewellery. And 
this image isn't what you think it is, and no, it's not got, it hasn't got, you know, whatever, Mary or whatever leaning in or whatever it's supposed to be. I'll show you what it is. Okay, this is where it sort of starts. He starts to morph to show it. And there you go. There it is. Your mirror image, the two of these. It's on this one, sorry. You mirror these two together. And then you get this. You keep going once it's mirrored properly. And see, you can see the goat image in here. If I've scared any any of you, but there it is there. So, and yeah, there was always a black image uh, border. Of Okay, so I can perhaps play a little bit of this, and I'll leave the link so you guys can get it, but I'm not playing all of it, I'm allowed to play 10%. So I'm not playing it, I just, I just wanted to show you, this is a video from the 25th of June, I'll leave the link in the description if you want. It's a really good video to watch because it shows you the Citadel of the Vatican, the key to the city, um, but... The Catholic Church was basically taken over. It's the second Catholic Church. So that's what that is. It's the Baphomet. So the Masonic baptism using the name of the Holy Spirit Baphomet is, is the mysterious mark of the beast like any cult. Freemasonry seeks to grow its strength and what a better way for them to accomplish this than to infiltrate the Catholic Church and turn it into a vehicle for growing the side of Freemasonry whilst eliminating the numbers of the opposition baptised Catholics. This creates generations of cursed Lord worshippers who spew more cursed Lord worshippers, all leading to the final solution, a universal worship of Satan. This has been quietly happening for three to four generations now and broke the baptism or initial right of the church is the sword. The church is actually the people. There's no, like, the church isn't the building. The church is you, the people. That's why Jesus went into the money changers' temple and smashed it and said, you don't need to have, be here, you don't need this. You know, my father will provide that, you know, to come out of the, the, the congregations and the assemblies because they didn't have a name for the churches back then, but it was the congregations and the assemblies and said that they're nothing but... Um, Wolves dressed up as sheep in clothing to deceive you, and they're full of demons. So, and also they took the Holy um, Ghost out of the Lord Our Father prayer. I think it was in the mid nineties. I was at boarding school when I had it. It was mid nineties because we used to say the Our Father prayer daily, and then just one day it suddenly changed. We had to stop saying um, the Holy Ghost. So. Okay, so this explains a drastic change in human beings over the course of the last 70 years or so. The phenomenon explained here in more detail, the mysterious mystery of the seven candlesticks. Strongly recommended that you keep the Masonic false Catholic priests away from your children's foreheads and perform the rite yourself. Remember, it's 2012 and the last pontiff is the pipe in the pipeline. Today's Masonic Vatican hierarchy rides a beast, just as the Coplips say it would. This is the day you have received a baptism of fire, but he shall baptize you with water and with spirit. He baptize you with water, with spirit, you and every son of the widow who will come to him, greater than Solomon. He will build a new city and a temple wherein the nations may worship the sons of Canaan, and the sons of Seth shall meet there in peace. All this at the sea of glass. And the Melchizedites, and the Melchizedites, the kings of Salem. Salem means peace, and priests of God ministered to Abraham, the father of nations. When mankind was yet in its infancy, so shall this new light combine in himself the dual office of fame and priests after the order of the Melchizedek. He shall judge the nations with the law of love, and to him that overcometh 
will be given the white stone with a name that will serve as a passport to the temple. There he may meet the king, Lucifer, face to face. Page 40 to 41, Freemasonry and Catholicism by Max Hindle, 1919. So the New World Order has been around since the late 1800s early 1900s when Mussolini and the other dictator sat down and planned the three world wars. It's not something that's just appeared, you know, in the last, you know, 30, 40 years. The New World Order has been around since at least the 1900s, early 1900s, when the money came in, when all those things happened. Okay. So the Catholic rite requires the correct form, manner, and Catholic initiation. Many Fatma movement readers have reported that when they perform the traditional Catholic baptism of correct or right, in the, it's an effect that's felt similar to of cutting the cords. This is actually a very accurate description of what really happens. Skip to the 7.30 mark of this video to see the effects of the spirit possession should be noted that the, these non-traditional Catholic congregations are simply being manipulated by what is best being described as the puppet string to condemn spirits. These people, of course, believe that God is causing this, but tragically, this is not the case. There is a reason for the Catholic rite. Shaking, falling down, acting like animals. I've seen pictures of men with lashes and the teachers saying they shall follow me and they go up and bark at someone else, somebody's lap, and they pet them like a dog. The invalid baptism rite allows the de demon spirits to control the en anthemized soul. I can't say that word, sorry. The Catholic seal of the Holy Ghost is not present in the soul, similar to a spiritual armor or a seal of protection, leaving them unprotected against the spiritual attachment in extreme cases, the outright demonic possession to prevent the spiritual manipulation from happening to you and your loved ones. Please use the traditional Catholic conditional baptism rite to make sure you are not marked by the Spirit or the Holy Spirit curse. The Holy Ghost is absolutely required and His protection will prevent unexplained problems for your loved ones. What's in a name, heaven or hell, it's your choice. More of these ill effects is in the mystery of the seven candlesticks. And it will cause all, the great, small and the great, the rich and the poor, the free and the bond, to have a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads. And it will bring about it that no one may buy it or sell it except for him who has the mark, either the name of the beast or the number is in his name. The 1950s, Doys, Rings, Acropolis, 13, 16, 17. Thus are the seven seals of the occult book opened successively and the universal initiation is accomplished. The commentators who have sought anything else in this book to the transcendent Kabbalah, Kabbalah have lost their time and their trouble only to render themselves ridiculous. The Doctrine of Transcendental Magic, 1896, part 2, page 60. And this is out of the Denver International Airport. Basically, you know, as under the laws and the rules of karma, they have to tell you what they're going to do and what's happening. And apparently the Denver airport has a massive bunker underground that can have um, 500,000 people live safely there if there was a nuclear war, that there's enough supplies, you know, for years. So says uh, this there's a time capsule beneath this stone contains messages and memorabilia to the people of Colorado in 2094. It was late March 1994, so it done by the Grand Lodge. And the uh, Georgia Guidestones were actually done by the Rosicrucians. And the Rosicrucians joined the Freemasons on the 25th of June. 1725. They were separate up until then, but they joined because the secret societies were being pushed back underground. 
In the, these mysterious Denver International Airport murals, the devil slays the Holy Ghost, who is traditionally portrayed as a white dove as grieving mothers hold their cursed babies in, in this disturbing acropolis. Masonic artwork is strongly re recommended that you perform the Catholic conditional rite on your children just in case. This curse, which does the door to heaven on whoever receives it, specifically children, is exactly why the Masonic Bible boasts. How terrible it will be for women who are pregnant or who are nursing babies in those days. Matthew twenty four nineteen ISB. And if you got children, get rid of anything to do with Disney. Throw out the, the DVDs, the books. They are all full of um, pedophilia and symbols and things that you should not be allowing your children to see. Cardinal Leverfay, 1905 to 91, accurately summed up the reaction every Catholic should have, have to have the new sacraments, including especially the new priest, Lord Catholic girl who refused to accept him. The Bray's Masonic membership is probable. Because of this adherence, we refuse and have always refused to follow the Rome of Nero modernist and the Nero Protestant tendencies, such as were clearly manifested during the Second Vatican Council. And after the Council and all the resulting forms, the Lex Ordo, Law of Prayer, cannot be profoundly, profoundly changed without changing the Lex Crendi, Law of Belief. The new Mass is in line with the new Catechism, the new priesthood, new seminaries, the new universities, and the Chasmatic or Pentecostal Church, all of which are in opposition to the orthodoxy and to the age of magis magistrum. Mag I can't say that word, sorry. This reform, since it has issued from liberalism and from modernism, is entirely corrupt. It comes from heresy and results in heresy. Even if all its acts are not formally heretical, it is thus impossible to, for any faithful Catholic who is aware of these things to adopt this reform or to submit to it in any way. To ensure our salvation, the only attitude to fidelity to the Church and to the Catholic doctrine is to categorically refuse to accept the reform. Source, the biography of Marcel de Fabre by Benantissa de Manas. Appendix 5, the Declaration on 21st of November 1974. The biggest mystery of the Acropolis is the mysterious mark of the beast in Acropolis, 13, 16, 17. Understanding this mystery requires a level of theological knowledge usually reserved for bishops, cardinal, and higher degree Freemasons, to whom it is no mystery at all. And it, will cause, and it will cause all the small and great, the rich and poor, the free and the bound to have a mark on their right hand and their foreheads, and it will bring it about but they may not be able to buy or sell except him who has the mark, either the name of the beast or the number of its name. The 1950s Doys Reims Acropolis, 13, 16, 17. The first Catholic Bible translated into English, the word mark is originally character. And he shall make our little and great, rich and poor, free men, bond men, to have a character in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man may buy boy, boy, which is buy or sell, and that he hath the character or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So that's 1582 that was written. In the Latin Vulgate, the same is true. Character replaces mark. Pope Pius, in the same way, actually, the baptism is the distinctive mark of all Christians and serves to differentiate them from those who have not been cleansed in this purifying sanctum. In, consequently, are not members of Christ. The sacrament of the holy orders sets priests apart from the rest of the faithful who do not receive this cons consecration. Evidence of the Masonic seed planting, die, means gods in Latin. Please remember the Masonic heretics advice, their heresies name switches with elements of truth so that the meek eat it up. It is crucial that these changes appear to wholly to deceive as many as possible. Pictured is on the left is Pyrrhus with the man who was then Cardinal Roncall, the future anti Pope John. So 
Ooh, the eyes on that. And meek means patient. You know, the patient ones. So superstition is derived from a Latin word which signifies survival. It is a sign surviving the thought. It is the dead body of a religious rite. Superstition is to initiation. What notion of the devil is that of God? This is a sense in which the worship of images is forbidden. And it's also a sense, also, also a doctrine, doctrine, most holy is in its original conception may become superstitious and impious. When it has lost its spirits and its inspiration, then does religion. Everyone, like the supreme reason, exchange its vestures and abandon all rights to the cupidity and rogatory of fallen priests, transformed by their wickedness and ignorance into jugglers and charlatans. Superstition is the way the devil is on his way, Stevie Wonder, superstition. Among the sacred records of the Christians, there are two texts which are the infallible church makes no claim to understand and has never attempted to expound these. Expound. These are the prophecy of Ezekiel and the acropolis of the two Kabbalistic keys reserved. For surely in heaven for the commentaries of the magic king's book sealed as with the seven seals of the faithful believers, yet perfectly plain to the initiated infidel of the occult scenes. Uh, the Doctrine of Transcendental Magic, 1896, Part 1, Page 2. Question from email about the Catholic conditional baptism. Right, dear fat movement, I'm confused regarding the baptism of the Trinity, Our Lady, Our God, Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost. Should someone be baptized with the Trinity that includes Our Lady, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, would Father, Son, and Holy Ghost be in complete Trinity if the Father and the Holy Ghost are one and the same? Can you please clarify this? This is our own right based on evidence from the Trini, Trinitarian Theopi, Theopani of Fatma. I apologize for saying these words wrong. I have some trouble saying certain words. These references scanned on site are there to prove the switch from Holy Ghost to Holy Spirit, Baphomet. The correct form, matter, and intention are required directions. 1. Pray the Rosary 150 in the original form. 2. The person performing the initiation rite into the Catholic Church must have the intention to actually initiate the person into the Catholic Church. Make sure this is someone you trust. 3. If a person has never been baptized ever, pour clean water matter over the person's forehead and pronounce the words the form. I baptize these in the name of Our Lady in the name of the Son, God, Jesus Christ, and in the name of the Holy Ghost, who was and ever shall be. If the person has been baptized, but you doubt the validity of the intention of the Vatican II priests that administered it, pour clean water over the person's forehead and pronounce the word. If you are baptized, I do not baptize you again. If you are not baptized, start pour water now. I baptize thee in the name of Our Lady, in the name of the Son, God Jesus Christ, and in the name of the Holy Ghost, who was, is, and it ever shall be. This is the strongest rite we know. If you want to do it in Latin, be sure to use the name Spiritum Sanctum, which translates into Holy Ghost, who was, is, and ever shall be, not the Spiritus Sanctus, the Holy Spirit, who is, coming Baphomet, also understand our religion and never attend the Novus Ordo, modern Happy Meal Mass, not even for weddings or funerals. It is a grave sin because the Lord is the object of worship instead of Christ. Backs turn to him. The Eucharist is invalid, among other issues. The reason for the conditional form is because it it's a grave sin to receive the Holy Ghost via baptism more than it once. It is possible for a Masonic priest to use the name Holy Ghost, but secretly hold back the intention, rendering the effect of the sacrament null and invalid. 
After 1944, they no longer had this problem, making their objective of the Acropolis auto-destruction of their Catholic Church easier, because the name of God was simply deleted. The reason for the rosary was, is the seventh promise of Our Lady is, who shall ever have the true devotion for the rosary shall not die without the sacraments of the church. The fifteen promises of Our Lady Rose of the Rosary. Whoever shall faithfully serve me in the recitation of the rosary shall receive signal graces. I promise my special protection in the great greatness graces of to all those who shall recite the rosary. The rosary will be a powerful armor against hell. It will destroy vice, decrease sin, and defeat heresies. It will cause virtue and good works to flourish. It will obtain for souls the abundant mercy of God. It will withdraw the hearts of men for, from the love of the world and its vanities, and it will lift them to the desire of eternal things. Oh, that souls would sanctify themselves by this me, by means. Those who recommend themselves to me by the recitation of the rosary shall not perish. Whosoever recite the rosary de devoutly, applying himself to the consideration of the sacred ministries, shall never be conquered by misfortune. God will not chastise him in his justice. He shall not perish by an unprovided unpro death. If he be just, he shall remain in the grace of God and become worthy of eternal life. Whoever shall have true devotion for the rosary shall not die without the sacraments of the church. Those who are faithful to recite the rosary shall have their life and their death, the light of God and the plentilence of his graces. The moment of death shall they shall participate in the merits of the saints in paradise. I shall deliver from purgatory those who have been devoted to the rosary. The faithful children of the rosary shall merit a high degree of glory in heaven. You shall obtain all you ask of me by the recitation of the rosary. All of those who propagate the holy rosary shall be aided by me in their necessities. I have obtained from my divine son that the advocates of the rosary shall have instances of the entire celestial court during their life and at the hour of their death. All who recite the rosary are my sons and brothers of my only son, Jesus Christ. Devotion to the rosary is the greatest side of predestination. In layman terms, the one billion or so Catholics worldwide are actually baptized in the name or the key of the Freemasons worship as Baphomet. This is why the Novus Odo sect members are willing, waiting for their Messiah as the Antichrist. This has been the goal of the occult since the resurrection, to destroy the army of the Catholic Church from within, using people's blind allegiance to Rome with the externals is specifically how the Masonic New World Order has been accomplished. Soul by soul, family by family, the Church has been taken down. Since it's been possible to know if the priests are baptized, you use the name of the Holy, Gro Holy Ghost with the right form, matter, and attention. There exists a conditional baptism to fix this, and you can only receive the Holy Ghost bapti bar baptism once. It is strongly recommended that you have this privately administrated by someone to remove any doubt. It does work, and once, and you will feel it take effect. Since the number of valid priests is next to zero, anyone can do this in the privacy of their own home. Uh, please note, most people don't remember in what name the priest baptized their child because there were so more important factors considered, such as the outfit, the cake, who's coming to the party afterwards, so there is a conditional fix that you can do in the privacy of your own home without a priest. It's strongly recommended that everyone do this as tragic name switch has been going on for decades. There is no reason not to do this. It takes just 30 seconds, and once the real effect of receiving the Holy Ghost takes place, you will truly fully understand why judo masonry is symbolically burning the seven sacraments in a form of a menorah. But you should read the Gnostic John the Baptism in the Holy Spirit. No cake, no outfit, or party is necessary. Just get it done. Now, cake. You, you should need a cake either. Cake is representing eating the placenta. That's what it represents. That's what a cake represents. 
So, I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to get, it's getting a bit late, I'm getting very tired. So, therefore, because you have been made members of Christ, I must warn you for fear, da- for I fear dangers for you, and not alone from those who are pagans, not alone from the Jews, and not so much from the heretics as bad Catholics, choose from among the people of God who you would Im- imitate. For you, I wish, imate the multitude. You shall not be then among the few who shall enter in a narrow way. St. Augustine. C. 13. When else is it that we as Christians through faith all answer how we serve by being born again in the grace of baptism? For how else we? For it is the same loss to anyone to part the life unbaptized as it is to receive that baptism. For which one thing of what has been handed down has been omitted. St. Basil 370. Where is the Catholic Church? Hunter Gibson searching for further through wreckage. I have conducted a coroner's inquest over six Catholic sacraments and examined their individual substitutes. Baptism is harder to destroy. It may be confoundly validated by anyone who uses a church form and a matter of, with intention of doing what the cat, what the church does. From 1985, despite his son's problem, he is correct about the horsemen. This is how you overcome the Illuminati's plan to destroy the church from within. You do it by yourself, and yes, it's valid, worthwhile, and you understand why it's necessary for them to replace it with the Masonic baptism in the Holy Spirit. Since there is almost no more valid police around, it's game time. The following was borrowed. Okay, so I'll leave links in for all of this. All married Catholics are required to know this imperative church teaching. Common pre-1944 right. I baptize thee in the name of the Father and the Son and in the Holy Ghost. In difficult childbirth, the infant may be baptized conditionally in the womb, but ought to be baptized again conditionally after birth. Canon 746. An abortive fetus should be baptized absolutely if evidently alive, otherwise conditionally. Canon 747. Infant baptism in emergency or married Catholics are required to know the details and imperative Catholic teachings. It's commonly thought that an infant who dies without baptism will not be unhappy. Moreover, we should have every reason to believe that an infant who dies thus will at least share eternity with complete natural happiness. Such thoughts would be genuine consolidation to the mother of the infant who dies without baptism if there is no fault of blameworthy neglect on her part. However, since baptism is the only certain assurance we have for the possession of heaven, it is important of exerting every effort to see the child is properly and duly baptized. Cannot be strongly to stress. Nothing should be left undone to unsecure it. So this is just repeating. So I know it's a long one, I'm, I'm sorry, but I just wanted to share this because so many people are freaking out about the mark of the beast on the forehead and, you know, the, the, the vaccines and everything. They they got plans. If, if they're going to put a chip in you, they've got plans. They'll do it through your injection when you go to the dentist to have your teeth numb. You know they they got plans, and you're gonna you're gonna get it whether you're gonna get it. There's nothing you can do to stop it. This is the baptism of fire, the mark of the beast, revelation. The baptism you receive from your church is the is the mark of the beast. And another thing I don't get is why do people allow pictures of Jesus? to be hung on their walls when a uh, Muslim does it, it's, it's absolutely blasphemy, you know, and 
it says here all images are forbidden and it's really frustrating to me that I saw images of Christ everywhere I go and and people just don't realize that it shouldn't be done you shouldn't have them they shouldn't exist you know just like people aren't allowed to draw an image of Muhammad it should be the same with Jesus you know Look at the way the world is. Everyone has forgot, you know, the family unit and the family structure has has broken down. Look at the track here and that. Jeez. Oh, my goodness. It's a massive track here. Wow. And see, the music is what really broke the, the children of the baby boomers. The music is uh, like the reverse speech backwards. You're cursing yourself, you know. You're, you're running, riding, you're cursing. And to know the the real meanings of, of English is, yeah. But anyway, if you're still here with me at this time, I'd like to say thank you. I appreciate you being here and still listening. I would also like to share one more thing before I go because I feel it's important. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard of mud flood or Tartaria. I've mentioned a few things on my channel about it. And basically, what this man does and his friend Noah have, has done has basically explained that um, Armageddon has been and passed. It's done. So if you would like to have a little bit more understanding um, about where we currently are in this world and what stage we're at check out you know this guy alan because he really explains what happens how they you know genetically modified people they they brought in viruses they wiped out cultures and um he's just the way he explains everything you know, it is just amazing how he can explain how, you know, the, the flood happened, yes, and Armageddon happened as well. And we're pretty much in the tribulation. There's two tribulations. There's the first tribulation and then there's the great tribulation. So... We are definitely in the end times. I don't know about you, but I feel it. And we create our reality. And if you're going to let this thing that's been going on for the last 12 months get to you and make you depressed, well, you're going to create that reality. You know, if if you, with, with God and Jesus and you know your way, your full armor of God, have no fear. you got no fear. Don't worry about it. It's got to happen. It must happen. It has to happen. This earth needs to be... It it's, needs to be cleansed. It's future. Look how these children we have today are running up and down the street treating each other and and, you know, tipping people's table up while they're eating when they're minding their own business. This video is very good. This one here, I recommend that. So, yeah, just check this channel out if you want. So, I mean, he covers everything. And it's not just reading Bible parts, but he actually breaks down what he sees going on in reality. I don't normally like to Bible bash or anything like that, but 
I just want people to know that, you know, there is hope. If we raise our vibrations, we've stopped them before. You know, the, the, the elites, the parasites, we've stopped them before. And we can do it again through the human collective. This is why they keep us oppressed. This is why they keep us down. This is why they keep us distracted with sports. So we're not looking at what they're doing. They give with one hand and they take from the other. Okay. Well, everyone, thank you. I appreciate all your prayers. For those who prayed for me when my hand was injured and still healing. And there's a few other things going, but that's that's just life. That's just what the devil throws at me. Hopefully it works out. But anyway, wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Thank you for watching, and I love you all. Bye-bye.